Welcome back to another Power BI 3 minute tip. If you're liking these quick Power BI tutorials, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell for more content. In today's video, I'm going to take you through the Power BI web connector. The web connector has been around for a while, but it recently got a really big upgrade in the May 2018 update. So I'm going to take you through the old from web connector experience and the new one as well. So let's go ahead and get started. So if we click on get data and web, it's going to ask us the URL that we want to enter in. So I have a URL here. Um, it's basically a page for baseball statistics and it's perfect because the Power BI Web Connector looks for tables on the page and this page has a lot of tables. So I'm going to grab this URL and I'm going to throw it into the URL here. So once you click OK, it's going to try to connect to that web page and it's going to look for any tables. And we can click on one of these tables and see what it pulled back for us. So we see a table full of data here. We can click on a few of these and maybe grab the standard fielding and we get all of these tables here. And it's perfect because now we can pull in these tables and work with this data and visualize it and do whatever we want to do with it. But there are some circumstances where it's not able to find a table or the table it's pulling back isn't in the format we want. So we now have a new experience. Um, so let's go ahead and cancel out of here. A good example of that would be if you go to IMDb you can see these top movies, uh, these top action movies, um, and we can go ahead and grab this URL as well. This isn't going to work as well because it's not really in table format, although it looks like a table, it's not like a table format in HTML. So if we go ahead and grab this URL, we can see what Power BI pulls back for us from this one. So I'll go ahead and paste that in, give it a second to connect to IMDb. And let's see what we get back. We get a couple of things. The document doesn't really matter. That's just showing what kind of element it is. Uh, table zero doesn't really return what we want as well. That's not any data that we really care about. So we have this new functionality to extract table using examples. And this is currently a preview feature. So you might have to go into file options, preview features, and check this and restart Power BI before you can use it. But once you do that, you can click this extract tables using examples. And this is a really awesome added functionality that actually connects to the web page and you can look through this web page and be able to type in what you want and hopefully Power BI can pick up on what you're typing and be able to return data for each of the elements. So um, to, for an example, let's go ahead and see if it can pick up on the title. So the first title is The Dark Knight. The Dark Knight. If it can successfully pick it up, it'll autofill the rest of these down here, and it looked like it didn't, which is kind of interesting. Sometimes it doesn't work perfectly. But if we give it another example, like the second movie is named Avengers Infinity War, go ahead and click OK, and you see how it totally fills up the rest basically like an autocomplete. So we have all these movies down here because it was able to pick up on the first one being Dark Knight, the second one being Avengers. And it gets the third being Inception, and the fourth being Star Wars. So that's really awesome. Let's go and grab another couple columns of data here. Let's go and grab the description. And we'll just copy this and paste it in the description. And it's able to pick up on the other descriptions as well. So the, this one starts out as the Avengers, the third one starts out as a thief. So it's able to go through each one of those elements and get the exact same kind of information. Um, let's go ahead and grab another couple things. Let's go ahead and grab the uh, gross. So that's going to be for the first one, that's dollar five three four point eight six. Uh, I think I need to put an M on the end of that. And it's able to get the rest of them. And one more, let's go ahead and grab Metascore. And it's 82 for the Dark Knight. And it's able to get the rest of the Metascores. So that's a really awesome added functionality that allows us to be able to explain what we want Power BI to grab from a web page. So let's go ahead and grab, uh, click OK. It will bring up the Power Query editor here and allow us to do anything else we want to do to this data. But we can go ahead and close and apply. So that's going to actually apply these changes. And once it applies that, it's going to add our data over here to the fields pane. And there we see all of our columns. So let's go ahead and throw this into a table just to make sure it's working. 
So we have all of our titles here and descriptions. Nice. We can go ahead and make a line chart. And we'll just do title by Metascore. And we have a nice little graph there. And that's awesome. So let's say you wanted to add one more column that you forgot. You can go ahead and go to edit queries. And in the second step here, extract a table from HTML. You can double click that. And it'll bring up the same interface that you want to see. Uh, so all we have to do is add another column. I'm going to scroll down a little bit. All you have to do is add another column. Uh, let's say I actually want to get back the runtime here. So I'll just do runtime. And you don't actually have to name these. This isn't helping with the uh, with Power BI to grab the data. It's just naming my column. So for the Dark Knight, it's 152 minutes. So if you click OK, it's going to be able to get the rest of those as well. So I'll go ahead and click OK here. So I want to put this in a scatter chart. Um, I'm going to need to get the minutes off of that. So I'm going to do that using DAX. So once it applies those changes, I'll go through and make um, the runtime a number because right now it's a text. So if we look at what our data looks like, we have this minutes here. I'm going to create a new calculated column. I'm going to get rid of minutes. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm just going to call it uh, runtime num for number. And I'm just going to take the left of runtime. And I want the left three characters. So left is going to take the first three characters here. Um, that'll work even for 45 because it'll get 45 and the blank. But once we convert this column to a number using modeling, data type, whole number, we are able to create this numeric column. And that's perfect because now we can throw this into a scatter chart. So let's go ahead and add a scatter chart here. And we'll throw in a runtime num into the x-axis and uh, Metascore on the Y. And once we do that, we can go ahead and click Don't Summarize on both so we get all of our data points. And now we have a nice graph showing us uh, runtime versus Metascore. So if you're able to pick out any, uh, any little bit of analysis here, any little insights you could find, that'd be really cool. Um, so this is how you use the new From Web Connector um, interface and it's really awesome it's really powerful hopefully you can get those to work if you can't get it to work try giving it a couple of examples maybe it can pick up on something but it's a really cool tip and uh, it's really fun to mess around with that and see which web pages you can scrape data from so if you like this tip make sure to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next Power BI 3 minute tip